Sup and good day, gamers. A formal bust here with the first tree, a first impression. But first, we have our sponsor, Agua. Dihydrogen monoxide. Drink it up or die. Oh, man. Always need water. It's always the best. Let's get into it. The first tree was released in September of 2017, developed and published by David Well Wheel. David, sorry, uh, your last name is spelled W E H L E. Sorry if I I have butchered it. To me, it is Well Wheel. Once again, sorry, David. Hope it's you know how to pronounce your name, which I'm glad you do, and I wish I did. <laughs> Uh, the first tree is described on Steam as a beautiful third-person exploration genre, an exploration game centered around two parallel stories, a fox trying to find her missing family and a son reconnecting with his estranged father in Alaska. Uncover artifacts from the son's life as he becomes intertwined in the fox's journey towards the first tree. Tagged on Steam as Atmospheric Adventure Indie and a Walking Simulator. But aha! This walking simulator has six legs in it walking around in it, not just two like normal. Um, we'll, we'll see what it's all about. But um, yeah, it retails on Steam for 9.99 United States dollars. Main menu looks good. I'll give it that. Uh, this, is, I guess, is the fox in question with her... Uh, what are they? Cubs? They're foxes. Fox... Small foxes. Uh, we got new game options and credit. Uh, continue if you had a game. New game options, credits, and exit. Um, this is all the menu you get. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, drop down menus are good. I'll give it that. Drop down menus are good. Tons of different resolutions. That's very nice to see. Although I should be at where are we? There we go. Uh, Anti-aliasing. Yes. Uh, windowed. No, I have it full screen. Commentary mode, that's nice. Um, am I going to turn it on? Um, if you want to check that out, feel free to. If you get the game. Uh, subtitles, invert Y-axis, and camera sensitivity. Be nice to see more, but that's that's what we get. Um, let's. That's it. <laughs> let's jump into a new game. Um, I will point out, I haven't been to Alaska, but this... I don't know, this doesn't look exactly like Alaska, but we'll see. Little paw marks, it's nice, nice little touch. Now that looks like a last one, I'll give it that. Are you awake? I thought I heard you get up. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry, I just can't sleep. Are you thinking about... about him? Yeah, a bit. You should get back to sleep, my love. I'm fine. No, no, it's okay. What else is on your mind? <sighs> I don't know. It seems weird, but I had one of the most vivid dreams of my life. I saw a fox on a snowy mountain, just looking confused and worried. Those eyes, I can't get those eyes out of my head. She was running in the windy snow, looking for something. Do you think it has to do with, with you and what's been going on? I don't know. It was just a dream, Rachel. They're not meant to make sense. A lot's happened the past couple days, that's all. Well, if you're not going to sleep anyway, you should tell me. I want to hear. All right. Okay, got a lot of voice acting on top of our uh, gameplay. <laughs> it's fine. Um, this is interesting. It's very... I like the kind of low-poly kind of look to stuff. What is, what is that? It's discolored. Um, toggle running, which is nice. Got double jump. Great. Um, kind of 
waiting or, or wait let's see there but you know whatever what is oh okay so okay i guess i interact okay yeah i guess i'll interact with stuff that's strange that i guess toggles stuff um what were the mm, okay can't see the can't see the controls that's fine so there was something that mouse did oh it changes my moving the mouse changes my view it's fine Oh, I got little paw prints. Do I have them? Okay, so I just have paw prints in here. That's okay. All right. Little park bench. I don't know what the hell this is. Maybe a mostly submerged ball or something. I don't know. And like a camp roll. All right. Just chilling out here. No real direction given. So I guess like open world walking simulator. I haven't run into any walls yet. Well, I say that, but that, that looks like a cliff edge that I probably shouldn't be going towards. Actually, is there? Okay, yeah, totally, totally walls. Okay, understandable. Okay, so I guess I gotta go the way I was going to begin with. Black time. I love it. Yeah, with how slow your walk is, I wonder if there's maybe a stealth uh, stuff you have to do later or not. I mean, atmospheric. This is. Hell of atmosphere. <laughs> Very kind of. I mean, as the voice actor noted to in the beginning, you know, it's a dream, so it doesn't have to look realistic, but I mean, looks realistic enough to, you know. It's realistic enough for a dream uh, escape, I guess I should say. Can I go this way at all? Oh, another place of humanoid artifacts. Okay, got some folding camp chairs and uh, some cinder blocks. All right. I'm sure they're not important. And then probably, yeah, probably another wall down there. All right. No baby foxes, though. All right. I guess onward into that valley, uh, mountain valley pass. Mountain valley pass? What is it? Mountain Pass, not a Mountain Valley Pass. Alright. Yeah, I wouldn't say it looks like Alaska, but definitely Dreamscape Alaska. Here we are. The lighting's doing a lot of work in this game, I, I will say. Very good lighting. And look, they even got, even got little snowflakes. All right, moving up the hill. Baby foxes. Oh. oh, this is... Well, this got depressing very quickly. So, not far from her home, she followed that path to something unexpected. Yeah, I'm glad we're having a real positive vibe game here going on. Jesus, B dead baby fox. What are we, 10 minutes into the game, okay. She couldn't stay though. She had to find her other two children. So she took that path. She followed it towards something ancient. Something with answers. Take out of the video game completely, but this kind of fox looked high and low, 
searching for any sign of her cubs. Points of light showed the way to this ancient tree. It was as if each one had a story to tell all their own. The land was trying to tell my story, too. I felt like I was right behind her the whole time. Yeah, what I was saying about the title card, sometimes the title card, to me, just takes you out of the game. Oh, wait! There are other animals. Got some rabbits here. Do I need to eat? I don't need to eat. Um, but yeah, title card can take you out of the game. This kind of takes you out of the game real quick and puts you right back where you were, which is... that's that's To me, that's how you do a title card if you want to do one. Just slap it up there and, you know, go right back to where you're, you were in the gameplay. So, points of light I'm headed to. Man, they're bright. What about that one in the sky? Do I need to get to that one? They're counted, so... I don't know if I gotta reach a certain amount of them or what, but... Points of light. Oh, a big bright one. What's this? Just a pink flower or something? Oh no, they're... Uh... I don't know, a little... Oh, I guess it's like a seat, I guess. You can sit. Okay. Guess the playground equipment. Unbroken, you know, you know, you know, the economy and stuff. You know, can't can't keep that stuff fixed up forever, right? Damn, bright point of light. If anything, that's maybe one thing this game. I mean, it's not too bad. When yeah, so far it hasn't been too bad, but I can see this game being way too bright. But I guess that's why they have so much foliage, kind of break up the light. Oh sh. Okay, nope. Just all right. As a kid, did you ever do show and tell in your class? Yeah, I, I think I only did it once, when I was in the fourth grade. You know how my life was around then. I wanted to show my class what helped pass the time and distracted me, so I brought a dozen paper cranes I had made. I think I told everyone how badly I wanted to be a bird and fly, embarrassingly enough. Don't be embarrassed. Every kid wants to fly. For me, it was another toy from my dad, a wooden boat. I remember guarding it so carefully in my hands as I walked into class. When I sat down, a group of boys immediately made fun of it. They asked which trash can I found it in, or why an ugly log was my favorite toy. When I got up, I didn't even want to tell them my dad had carved it. I said it was a joke gift my friends had given me. Kids can be so cool. Some of them are. I shouldn't have let them get to me, but it did. It's amazing we bounced back at all. Okay. I gotta dig stuff up. Uh, that's, that, good metaphor. Good metaphor. You gotta, you gotta dig that stuff up. Yeah, it's a real good metaphor. Oh, man. Oh, hold on now. Is this, is this what I think it is? Can I... Can a fox go down the slide? This is my question. Oh. Okay, I don't slide, but I can go down. Okay, all right. I'll take what I got. All right. Is that? There's one way up there. I don't want to go. There's one closer. Yeah, there's one like right here. Okay. All right. So yeah, that, that, that's a good thing of like two different stories, although it's connected not in like I thought I thought it was gonna connect in some weird way, but no, this is more literally connected. It was like. About, talking about his dream. Ooh, it's a nice big valley, though. This is just another, yeah, another spot to dig up. Do you remember what my dad did for a living? Wasn't he like a lumberjack? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. If wood was a canvas, then a carving knife was his paintbrush. Even after working a 50 hour week, even after his hands were more splinters than skin, he would bring home the nicest piece of Alaskan weeping cedar and make me toys. That wooden train was the first toy I can remember, and I loved it. I just knew from a young age I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. I just can't get over this, this super literal metaphor of like, yeah, dig it up. <laughs> the fox got it. I don't know. 
Uh, I guess Foxfly's digging up, maybe searching for tracks or, you know, searching for scents or whatever. But, and I don't know. There's probably, there's probably an achievement for getting all these, which is why they're numbered. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought there was a really bright one up here. Maybe... Is that some... Oh, yeah, that's it. I don't know why you'd want to walk. I haven't figured that out yet. Why would you want to walk? I want to run. I'm a fox. Let's run. I guess so. Exactly what was wrong, but his best guess was that the toys he carved weren't cool enough. He carved me a tank and tried to tell me what it was like to be in a real tank as a serviceman. I didn't know your dad was in the military. Yeah, in the army. The sad thing is that I pretty much forgotten until just now. There's so much I still don't know about him. I'm sorry. He knows how much you love him. You're going to see him again soon. And have some closure, I'm sure. I do. I do. Nope. What's this? Okay, another little carved up in the scene. Oh, now, the most important question of any game fall damage? Nope. Invincible Fox Mother. Jump off any cliff and it's fine as long as it's. Still looking for his kid, I guess. Or his other two kids. I swear, at least one of those foxes better be alive. And this game's like, hey, dead fox in the first ten minutes, and the other two are also dead at the end of the game. Oh my god, that'd be, that'd be just too mean, I'm sure. Slide, another slide, a little picnic table. Alright. Myself, why talk to anybody anyway? Why bother when I'm happy by myself? I started drawing a lot, mostly animals I saw in the woods by my home. I then imagined designing my own hideouts with things like TVs and pantries full of chips and cookies. I think that idea of leaving home and drawing blueprints started my career. I found a lot of solace in that. I'm not surprised, but I did the same thing, you know? There's something special about having a place to call your own. And now look at us. Well, if you count renting in an overpriced city. <laughs> it's as close as we can get for now. Still don't know why I'm collecting the stars. Or the light orbs or whatever. Who knows? running. Okay, I guess I should go this way then. Try to get to that really big 
specific bright light. That'll tell me everything. Oh, cutscene maybe? Loading screen for sure. Oh, wow. Either, I guess change seasons or move to a... Uh... Nah, it's gotta be change seasons. Either that or we move to a less hilly... You know. Well, there's still plenty of hills. It's gotta be season change. I don't know. Different environment. Nice to see. Change up the game. Immediately, another thing to dig up. My teenage years were full of sketching, angst, and trouble. I wasn't popular or unpopular. Maybe just forgettable. I guess that gave me a sense of freedom. So I hung out with crazy kids, doing crazy things, even though I mostly just watched the chaos ensue. We did it all. Put fireworks in mailboxes, hide roadkill in people's garages, break windows of the barbershop in Anchorage. My dad was furious, but he was so busy working he couldn't do much to stop me from going out. I think being an adult means there's no one to stop you making hard decisions. He had to make a living, and he couldn't be in two places at once. Yeah, I realize that now. But at the time, I was sure he was more interested in growing his business than what was going on with me. working another late night, and my friends were over, saying how bored they were and how they had come all the way out to my house for nothing. One of them mentioned how that old, ugly beyond belief truck was still in the garage, and how we should take it for a spin. I was only 15, so I kind of fought it for a while. The next thing I knew, we were craning around the mountain path, rocks spitting onto the sides of the cliff while my dad's cringeworthy bluegrass blared out the speakers. I drove while my friends were in the back of that yellow and purple truck, throwing beer bottles and trash at anything remotely interesting. Felt like I was soaring in the air with borrowed wings. But all good things have endings. A cop outside of Eagle River pulled us over after he saw us in a bottle rocket into someone's yard. What followed was a long night of talking to disappointed adults and feeling smaller than ever. Hmm. I guess if you're, I mean, a lot of people know Anchorage, Alaska, but I guess if you're local, I wonder if they used real. What is. Oh! Okay! Got some butterfly friends. Oh! I didn't mean to leave you, butterfly friends. Come back. Come. What? Okay. I just got some cool butterfly friends now. Alright. Is there a range or I just can't move too quick? Okay, no, I can run with them. Alright. I just got some butterflies following me around. Alright, I don't know what this does to the game or what Alright, I guess I got gotta leave them. What a shame. Okay. I hope so, this is where it's supposed to be going. This is where the light's taking me, and there's a cool water fountain here. Come on! Yep, okay. Oh man, shit ton of butterflies up here. More butterflies, okay. Come on, let's go. I don't know what y'all do with anything, but y'all look cool. I get more butterfly friends, so that's a win. Yeah. 
Don't know what y'all do. Oh, there we go. Right over here. Yeah, I have no idea what these butterflies do, but... Hey, man. You can have stuff in a game that just looks cool. Oh, this is that double jump. Right, yeah. Click. Click. What? Butterflies. Oh, three butter... Oh, I have to pick up three butterflies. Three groups of butterflies, and then I can, I guess, super double jump. Okay. So there's one up there. There's one over there at the rocks. friends would laugh about that night and talk about how crazy it was, and I laughed along, pretending it didn't bother me, but it did. I imagined my friends growing old in the bush, unable to find that thrill in those godforsaken ice fields. It's like those mountains were a literal wall, keeping me from leaving, where all I would have to look forward to are lumber yards and evening beers. I had to climb over. That was my only goal for a long time. Okay, jump too early. Then you get a super jump, and then you get a... Uh, and you do your second jump. Although, oh! Another fount of light. There's some video game called called Fount of Light. I don't know what it is, but another little thing of light. I guess I'll check that out while I'm getting my butterflies again. from the police station, I blew up at him, saying how I never wanted to be like him, how I was going to be someone and leave that hick icebox for good. He just looked forward at the road with tired eyes. I took out that bluegrass tape from the cassette deck and chucked it out the window. In my sage teenage wisdom, I thought I had proved the ultimate point, but my dad had a different idea. He slammed the brakes slowly bowed his head while gripping the steering wheel and finally looked at me. All he said, like it was a polite request, was, make this right. I sat there in silence, fuming, but I eventually got out and combed every square inch of the woods, muttering profanity after profanity. I found it 30 minutes later, near a small waterfall off the road. I went back to the truck, put the wet tape back in, and sure enough it worked. 
We didn't speak another word to each other the rest of the night. Wow, I knew you were a crazy teenager, but... It's hard to believe, isn't it? Surprises me, too. It's like I didn't really know who that kid was back then. I bet my dad thought the same thing over and over. It's almost like he was saying, make this right to himself, more than to me. Hmm. If there was some way I could take my love of drawing and turn it into a way of escape, nothing would make me happier. I wanted to create instead of tearing trees down. I wanted to move to the lower 48, not because I hated it there in Alaska, but I hated the idea of it. It's like all of that spite inside me had created this monster which followed me around my whole teenage years. I put so much energy into doing what others didn't expect of me. Why did I do that? There's one fact you're forgetting, though. If you didn't have that fire in you, we probably would have never met. You're absolutely right. Maybe the destination is all that matters in the end. But then why am I awake? Why am I seeing this fox go on her journey? And why can't I stop thinking about my dad? Different biome again, kind of? Are these, I think, like geysers? Um, the world sign in this is really just kind of blown me away. I thought it'd be a, you know, simple Alaskan logging simulator, but no. A lot of different biomes and environments and stuff. What do we got? Okay. Just a steam vent. Alright, and steam vent takes me on to the next area, it would seem. Oh. Hey, it's the area of the trees from the intro. Okay, well that says to go... Okay, well, we're not... This is the brightest light. We're going toward the brightest light. So, we're going to check this out first. Then I guess we'll be back that way. Still haven't found the two other foxes, but, you know... I mean, they gotta be alive, right? This game wouldn't do, wouldn't do us dirty like that, right? Well, this is just tripping. Oops. Something of three. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Joseph. And I get an achievement for finding Joseph carved into the tree. Alright. Let's see what this is, though. Even at my most distant, at the times when I detested him the most, he kept reaching out. For a year straight, he asked me every week when we were going camping. I thought he was just dense. Eventually, to shut him up, I agreed. We carried out the worn lawn chairs from the garage and set up a cinder block campfire at the site we had always used behind the house. We walked down the mountain path, talking in the warm sunshine we only got a couple months of the year. Those three obsidian rocks shimmered alongside the shore, almost like sparklers pressed against a dark window. I'll never forget that wet stone on my feet, or how those massive mountains looked even bigger in the lake's reflection. I felt small, but grateful. As the sun set, my dad found something I hadn't seen for a long time. The tree where I'd made my first carving when I was six. I hadn't even carved it. My dad had helped me, but I still called it my tree. Something about seeing my name there made me open up, and we talked about everything that night in that old camouflage tent. I told him how much I loved sketching and design, and how it would be a dream to study architecture in Seattle. I told him how I didn't get along with my friends much anymore, but that I didn't mind being alone. He told me he was there for me, and he joked that if all he had to do was write my name on a tree to finally get me to talk, he would have left me carved logs with novels on them in front of my room every morning. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to realize it, but it was then I knew how much he had sacrificed for me. Okay. I think we're going to leave it here soon. I just... I mean, there's the personal stories going along with, you know, you being a fox running around 
doing, you know, looking for your two other baby foxes because they killed a freaking. Yeah, I, not 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 over that yet. Just just killing a baby fox right out the gate. Good way to get us emotionally invested, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's simply made. You know, the game's simple, but oh my gosh, it's very atmospheric. <laughs> As the Jaguar do would say. Still don't, and, and I'm liking how. Okay, what do you want me to do? Yeah, I'm liking how there's a new kind of thing to interact with in the world in each area that lets you do different stuff. No idea what I'm supposed to do with these yet. Her? Her? I guess with the light, so... Oh, okay, I got... Okay, that makes... That makes sense now. Alright. Well, now that I've figured that out... <laughs> We're gonna leave it here, gamers, and yeah, in, yep, this is all you get in game too, so. Real good uh, menu. You know, it's simple, it's all you need, I guess, for this game, but yeah, well, let's just, real, real quick, well, let's. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Switching from low to high, Be sorry, very low to ultra high. Yeah, that's not too bad of a difference, yeah, okay. But yeah, I'm going to leave right here, gamers. Thank you for watching. Feel free to do this stuff. Um, I have been a full of us. Until next time, take care and drink some H2O, gamers.